the past few seasons, we've had some extreme weather in Oklahoma, particularly in the form of drought, extremely high temperature, and late freezes and frost. All of these environmental conditions put a lot of stress on our landscape plants and shrubs. Fortunately, this spring we've had moisture return to our state in the form of rainfall, fogs, and heavy dews. We've also had moderate temperatures between about 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and these weather conditions are very favorable for plant pathogens to grow. Since our plants are already predisposed, since they're under a lot of stress, I would expect both leaf spots and anthracnose diseases to be notable in the landscape this spring. Leaf spots are exactly what they sound like. You may see light colored or spots on your leaves. Sometimes they may be purplish, black or brown. And you'll notice that, that they're going to grow throughout the season, throughout the spring and get larger. There may be more in number and you may notice them spreading to other parts of your plant. Anthracnose is a little bit more severe than just a leaf spot because you will actually have your shoot tips may become blighted where they're killed and it may spread back into the twigs and start to cause some dieback. For both of these diseases, you may note that there's premature defoliation of the plants. One of the control things that you can do is when these leaves fall off, rake them up, discard them in the trash. If it is getting into the twigs or shoots, remove them by pruning and discard them. One thing that we can do in our landscapes is control how we water. Instead of watering the foliage of the plants, we want to be sure to water the roots and the soil. By watering the foliage, you can actually splash and move around some of the spores so that they move to new leaves and new parts of the plants and you get new spots developing. Other things that can be done is especially if it's a very thick, lush plant, you can thin the plant out by perhaps removing some of the branches or stems and discard that in the trash as well. It may be that the only method to control this is with fungicides. So there's lots of fungicides that would be available at your local garden center. We would want to apply those on the plants, get very good coverage at about seven to 14 days intervals. If the leaf spots are, are really active and we have some nice moderate temperatures and some rainfall, you might shorten the interval. Whereas if it we're getting into drier weather, you may be able to extend it to the 14 days. It's most important to protect the new growth because um, if they're not sprayed, they are not protected by the chemical. So there's lots of products in your garden center. I, I just brought in two. What you would wanna do is pick up the chemical, look at the label. It'll say if it's labeled for ornamentals or it may list specific trees and shrubs. It'll give you the rate to apply the chemical um, and other information about the application. So I expect this will be a problem in the spring. It may show up again in the fall where you may have plants that had disease in the spring, may show it again in the fall or next summer. So especially rake up and discard any of those fallen leaves and prune off disease twigs.